to start the video off by saying this is by no means a good video. Um, viewer discretion is advised. Clearly I don't even know how to work my audio and this whole clip of me driving the audio is trash. So I'm just going to tell you guys what's going on. I'm driving from Mooresville, North Carolina straight to Greenville, North Carolina. Why? This is why. But here is me putting the letter in the envelope. I am so defeated from this, but that's okay. We still did it. Here's what the letter says. I'm going to show you. I'll unblur this at the end of the video to show you what I wrote in the letter. And we moved on in our trip, and we went to Jacksonville, North Carolina. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Let's eat. I'm currently in Georgetown, sort. Wow. Georgetown, South Carolina. Bruh. I'm trying to keep my home clean because I'm sleeping in here tonight. I'm in South Carolina. I just got Bojangles for the first time. It's not bad. It's not like groundbreaking, but it's good, you know, and I was really hungry. The favorite part about Bojangles is definitely their biscuits. The chicken's not bad. Kind of disappointed in their chicken tenders. Cajun chicken sandwich those are chicken biscuits good. And then they're, this is called dirty rice. It's okay. Not doing anything crazy, but I gave it a 71 out of 100. That's the score I've given it. Which actually might be a little too high for being fully transparent, but too late for me to change. I should know it's not. Why am I saying that? I'm giving it a 64 out of 100. Nice. I don't know. Let's see the more I eat it. Let's see if I need to stop making a mess. Yo, there's an Anytime Fitness down the road. Georgetown is, is a pretty small town. It's close to Myrtle Beach, kind of. It's like by Myrtle Beach and Charleston in between. I want to stay here because I have a potential place to potential place in the woods that I can park to sleep in my truck. I mean, this is Anytime Fitness. But this is amazing. This is so good. We'll see. I want to for sure eat this. Go get a lift in at Anytime Fitness. Shower. Brush my teeth. And then from there, we could head more south or we could try and just sleep here. I was going to check the time, but I don't... My truck's off. I think it's about 5 p.m. Got that daylight savings or whatever hit last night. I've been on zero dates while I've been here, but that's okay. At this point, I'm just dating myself. It sounds kind of weird. I'm just living life, you know, I'm trying to experience new things. I'm trying to survive. It's like 77 degrees outside. Super warm. Okay, that biscuit was growing on me. Oh, I also got their iced tea. Very average iced tea. I'm not overly impressed with it at all. For them to call it their legendary iced tea, I was hoping it would taste a little more legendary than that. These have just too thick of breading for me. You know, nothing's crazy going on here. I could try it in barbecue sauce, but at this point, I don't think I will. I do know that I'm gonna have to hit some crazy cardio at the gym. Cause this has got a lot of salt, a lot of fat, a lot of calories. I really don't know how much I weigh right now. I'm hoping it's under, sorry, not under. I'm hoping it's over 190, but I got a bad feeling it starts to less. I hope I haven't lost weight in this trip, but I think I have. The more I eat these, the less I like them. Not a good time. Yeah, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna cave. I'm gonna open the barbecue. At this point, these need barbecue sauce, which is kind of sad for to the contender to say. <laughs> Good barbecue sauce. I was gonna get their pimento cheese. Oh, I just spit everywhere, sorry. Excuse me for that. I was gonna get their pimento cheese um, on their one of their sandwiches, but I looked it up. Pimento cheese has mayo in it. That's nasty. Why would you put mayo in cheese? Just wrong. Mayo's the worst substance ever created. Ugh. This just, this feels so heavy. This food feels so, feels like it's weighing me down. Definitely am not gonna get Bojangles very often. It's sad for me to say that, but the more I'm eating this, the more I'm losing the more I'm losing faith in this restaurant, I'm enjoying it less as I eat it. I do need to remember the good times I had with that Cajun chicken biscuit, though. So this trip, I left last Sunday at 7.30 p.m. That's when I technically started this ghost trip. I left from Iowa City, Iowa, my cousin's place. Shout out, Tyler. So technically, it's almost been an entire week since I left. I've spent 
I think close to $1,700 on gas, Airbnb, food, and supplies. Not proud of that. However, I've earned, excuse me, I think I've earned, I think about $800 while on this trip working and stuff all from tiktok live stream basically my fitness business has really slowed down not like it was going but it's my fitness business night fitness lc needs to take a turn because i am losing hope on that and i know i can't lose hope i just gotta keep grinding on it it's just it's really tough when your business isn't really getting the traffic you need but overall i've spent too much money on this trip and we only got an airbnb for two days so i slept in my truck for five nights sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday and then Friday, Saturday night, we got the Airbnb. Sunday, oh my gosh, look at this biscuit. This biscuit's amazing though. Sunday is today. We're gonna sleep in my truck. Ideally, I, I wish I could stay in Airbnb every night. It was so nice, but I can't afford it. I don't even know if I can afford to get back to Iowa. I gotta be back by Thanksgiving, which is in like three weeks from now, two weeks from now. And holy crap, I'm almost 24 hour drive away from my parents' house. So hopefully, I don't know what's gonna happen. If I don't have enough money, you know, I, bleh. If I don't have enough money to get back, it's gonna be interesting. Now, was I responsible and put money away to make sure I'd always have enough to get back? No. You think I'm responsible? I'm sitting in a South Carolina Bojangles parking lot just because. I literally drove across the country to deliver a letter to Mr. Beast. Does that sound like responsible to you? No. Do I love that I did that? Yeah. Like, I'm just floating right now. Why am I even here? None of this makes any sense. I should probably explain myself. So, what I have done is I have delivered a letter. I had a written rat. Holy crap. It's like I'm illiterate sometimes, you know? I delivered a handwritten letter to Mr. Beast. I'm not telling you what's in it. I will show you guys later, maybe. But I was hoping to hand deliver it to him in North Carolina. So I drove across the country, lived in my truck to hand deliver this letter to Mr. Beast. I'm originally from Minnesota, but I left from Iowa. Mr. Beast was not home. If he was, I couldn't find him. Couldn't find his house, couldn't find the neighborhood he bought. So I, I searched for three hours. I did some research for another three hours. Couldn't find it, so I did the best I could. Put the letter in a random person's mailbox that maybe was in his neighborhood. Maybe it was his house, I don't know. And I left. And now I am continuing my trip south. I'm in South Carolina. I'm hoping to go on 50 dates in 50 states, but I haven't got a single girl to go on a date with me. So that idea might be out the window. And now I'm just trying to figure it out. Kind of want to get to Florida to get to the ocean. You know, just go on a beach, but I don't know. Very, very confusing trip. I'm very lost. That's okay. Just sending it, you know. Just trying to live my, live my life the way I want to live it. And... Is it the most financially responsible or time managemently responsible? No, but I, I don't know what I want to do with my life and I don't know how I can get to the goals I want to achieve. So here we are. I don't know. I want to be, there's a lot of things I want to do, but I don't know how I'm going to get to them. So we're just, we're on this trip, experiencing new things, seeing new parts of the world I've never seen and doing it all solo. I did meet up with a friend in North Carolina that I met on TikTok live stream named Ian. And that was cool to see him, meet him. He's an awesome person. He's doing his own road trip, but he's going to Tennessee first. And I'm I'm probably gonna go down south to Florida. And then from there, we'll see. It's all about how much I can afford. So let's, let's see if I can get back to my parents for Thanksgiving. And I will see you guys later. I don't know if I'm gonna record any content in the gym. I love Sam Sulik. I'm trying to be like Sam Sulik. He's a huge inspiration to me, but I have a lot of social anxiety, especially with recording in the gym. And I feel like I'm invading people's privacy in the public gym. I don't know. So content might be hit or miss with YouTube on during the gym, but I don't know what I'm doing. I love you guys. I'm trying to make content as much as I can, but I'm also in survival mode. So that's why I haven't been putting out a lot of stuff and I got to edit stuff, but we're figuring it out day by day. Keep moving forward. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Dear Mr. Beast, thank you for being you. I've been subscribed and have been watching your content for a long time now. During that time, you have brought me hope, happiness, and a better outlook on life. You inspire me to keep going, keep moving forward no matter what. I've gone through some very dark times in my life, and during these times, your videos were some of the only joyful moments I could find. Your outlook on life, your work ethic, and your thoughtfulness to help others is truly admirable. I'm a 23-year-old man who is still quite lost in life. I can honestly say I aspire to be like you. Thank you for being who you are and for helping so many people. You're one of the greatest inspirations and role models I have. I traveled across the U.S. to deliver this letter to you in person. But if I don't see you, hopefully you will find this letter somehow. I appreciate you and I'm so grateful for everything. Sam Rabenberg.